But no politician wants to talk about real cuts to the big popular programs. And after interviewing those people at the shopping mall, I see why. No one there wanted to cut anything. They do it for the money? That's why the politicians are scared. And few people in the media are willing to talk seriously about the need for big cuts. Well, actually, one is Glenn Beck does. I hate that guy. He gets out his chalkboard and does these weird Professor Beck lectures, many of them about death, and he wrote this book called Broke. Uh, so he's talking about it, and all you get for that is, is grief, I suppose. But oh, yeah. At least you're talking about it. Yeah. So you, you watch the State of the Union. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? They're, they're not facing it. What he said in the State of the Union was, let me ask you this. Do you like fish? Yes. Do you like cookies? Yes. Great. What he did is he said, let's bake, Where are we going with this? let's bake fish and cookies together. So here, he took small, really, the answer is you, John. There's your cookie. That's Ronald Reagan. That's the founders. The answer is you, the individual person. And then you have the little progressive Woodrow Wilson, Barack Obama, FDR. But government is really there. And he baked them close together. Who wants either of them? You don't want cookies and you don't want fish when they're baked together and that's what he did he was telling us last night you're the answer you're the answer America but at the same time he then said we need another Sputnik wait a minute what is the Sputnik moment the Sputnik moment is the moment that everybody said you know what we got a problem he said we need a Sputnik moment you just showed the the debt what more moment do we need? I was struck by when he talks about we, this careless use of the word we. We is not the government. It's we the people. It's either we are individuals or the government takes our money and makes us Correct. do stuff. Big He's, difference. He said a very important we um, uh, during the State of the Union. He said, um, we owe it to people. We have to give them a better government. Let me ask you that. Who's we in that one? We have to give them a better government. It's the elite ruling that think that they can manage and control. He was talking about cobbling together these agencies, not about cutting these agencies, putting them together in super agencies now and merging them. That's not good. I, I'm struck by some of the things he said. We're selling acres of federal office space that hasn't been used in years. We're buying hundreds of thousands of acres of land in the West. And why do they have acres of federal <laughs> office space that hasn't been used in years? Because it's the government. Well, you saw the top of the show. I went to this mm -hmm. shopping mall. This is in an above income I don't area. Know, I don't know how to make this. I don't know how to. John, I, I am, uh, what, 47 now. And I don't have any idea how people, even my age, don't know Social Security is over. It's over. You're never going to get the money. It's done. It can't sustain itself. The country can't sustain itself. How do you make that point with people? When they say, when that lady said, and you notice, she was saying, we need more money for schools. And what did her daughter say? Her daughter said, renewables. Well, that's really? What they're taught in yeah, well, that's what they're taught in school. More money for we that. need more money for education because look how good the indoctrination is doing with my daughter. And of course, we can't cut Social Security because I'm going to get it. She should have said if she wasn't being indoctrinated at school and she was learning simple math, she would have looked at mom and said, Mom, you ain't getting that. There's no way that lasts. It all has to be. Now, look, Social Security, if you're on Social Security right now, we have to take care of our obligations and take care of people. But it doesn't make any sense. People are living longer. Almost no one knows that when FDR started Social Security, two years, most people were already dead by yeah. age 65. Most people didn't 63 live that long. 63 was the average age for men. So, or, or I think women. I think it was 61 for men. Not sure. And now the average age for men and women is 78. There's no way. You were, it was SSI, Social Security Insurance. Well, that's not insurance. That's a guaranteed payout. The, President Obama this week in his State of the Union did at least acknowledge that this gimmick of freezing just discretionary non-defense spending is not going to do the trick. We have to stop pretending that cutting this kind of spending alone will be enough. 
It won't. So that to me was encouraging. At least he said that. And given how hostile people are to cuts, it's hard to blame what these is politicians. He going to cut? Well, what is he? What is the progressive, big spending, giant government overregulating president going to cut? Well, apparently nothing. He wants to make it bigger. But at least <laughs> right. he said that for the first time. <laughs> I mean, the also Republicans said, are just talking right. about that, you know what, fifteen percent of the budget. You know what this was? This was a um, a great speech. He took he took the words of, of Ronald Reagan, which he read over uh, the Christmas holiday, and he uh, he jammed that whole. I don't know. I guess it's the people thing that make the difference here. And he gave us the nice little cookie of that, and then gave us the fish stick of big government. It's a mess. It's not going to work. What what he is telling us is the is probably the most radical speech a president has made in my lifetime where he's saying i'm going to regulate even more he said for your protection and we're going to get rid of keep some of this safe. other regulate it's yeah. what keeps the food safe only government keeps the <laughs> only food. Is this safe right I no i wouldn't eat it <laughs> <laughs> they were cooked together i mean if you don't mind but at least he bothers to write a op-ed in the Wall Street Journal saying we have too much regu- regulation. I think you're being sarc- I think he's being sarcastic when he <laughs> says. <laughs> when he says, at least he's saying it. You well, know, no, I'm a- sure. I, I, I mean, I, I want to see the bright side. And every time a politician says, mm. so, I mean, they didn't even used to talk about these things. The Democrats. And it's like it's. I just. I, it would feel so much better if someone was stabbing me in the chest while telling me, I'm not stabbing you in the chest. I love you. <laughs> They're stabbing the country in the chest with his debt. More regulation, more debt. It, it, it's not going to last. It can't last. So it's not up to them to do anything. It's up to us to educate ourselves and say, Social Security. I'm just, I, I don't know anything about Social Security. Great. Educate yourself. Just do the simple math. It can't be done. It, it, it doesn't work. But nobody wants to do that. Well, then, the, then we're, we, all going to be, we're all going to be making the little umbrellas for the Chinese people's drinks soon. That's what we'll do. We'll make the little bill umbrellas while they have prosperity. Or facing riots like they do in Greece. That in will Greece, happen. Or facing vastly inflated currency like they did in Weimar, Germany, where you walked around with wheelbarrows full of money mm-hmm. and to buy a loaf of bread. It doesn't end well. If Americans don't wake up and say, you know what, this has been a sweet ride. It's been good. But everything I've been told by the labor unions and the politicians is a lie. It doesn't work. Now, we can just be another page in a history book, or we can be a whole chapter and say, we were the first civilization that woke up and then stood up and said, you know what, no, man can rule himself. We've just been lost here lately. We're going to do it right.